that circumstances dictate who you are. Amen. Yes. Yes, sir. Can allow it. That's right. It's not biblical. Yes, sir. It's not the word. Amen. Got to maintain when you keep your job That's right. at the right level. Good word, good word. No matter what happens or what transpires, uh -huh. you still keep your job. Yes. Amen. I'm closing out. Thank you, Lord. I want to take you to the book of Hebrews. Hebrews. Uh, Hebrews, the church chapter. Mm -hmm. Maintaining your faith in trying times. The key to maintain is you've got to keep faith. You cannot stop believing our God. Amen. That's the point. I'm going to read this to you in 1 John. We're going to read Hebrews. We're going to close out. 1 John 5 and 4 says, For whatsoever is born of God uh -huh. overcometh the world. Uh -huh. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Yeah. Even our faith. Okay. Our faith is essential to us overcoming the world. <coughs> when you lose your faith, you will lose out with God. You cannot, no matter how bad it gets, you cannot stop believing. No matter how bad it looks, you cannot stop believing. Maybe, maybe it's been waiting five years. Don't stop believing. Maybe it's been six months. Maybe it's been a year. Maybe it's been ten years. You cannot stop believing. Because when you stop believing, it stops. Yeah. Because it's your faith that does it. Amen. It's your faith that helps you to maintain. Yes, sir. It helps you to conquer. It helps you to overcome. It's just, just believing the fact that God can do it by faith. Uh -huh. Look what the word says in Hebrews 11. In the sixth verse, we're going to jump over to another verse. It says, six says but without faith, uh -huh. it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Yes. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. For without faith, it is impossible, amen, to get what we need from God. We cannot allow our faith to shrink, to shrivel up, to get weak, to dissipate. It must stay strong in the word of God. That's it right there. It's your faith. You gotta believe that God's word says He will bring you out. Didn't say we, but He will bring you out. It's like the Hebrew boy. He said, I don't you know what. If He don't do it, I know He's able to. I know He's able to. Now look at this. Hebrews, little chapter, same one. We share what faith did. It says, 31. By faith, the heart of Rahab perished, not with men that believe not. When she had received the spy with peace. Uh -huh. And what shall I say more? For the time shall not fail me to tell of Gideon, of Barak, Samson, Zephathah, David, Samuel, and of the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms. Through faith they subdued, they conquered, they won, they made it to new kingdoms, wrought righteousness. My God today. Amen. You can live righteous by believing God. Yes. The habit, your condition, your issue, the sin in your life, if you believe that He will set you free. He'll destroy every habit of drugs, alcohol, amen. Come on, Cigarettes. Amen. Clubbing. Whatever your issue is, by faith, wrong righteousness. Brought about the little set free. Come on. He set
word says. Oh, yes, sir. I believe I'll get delivered. Yeah. Don't we know pocus pocus or no one lay hands on me if you want to, God? But Lord, I believe by faith. Yo, my faith can walk righteousness. Oh, help me. I don't have to live that way. Amen. I don't have to accept that way. I don't like sin. I don't like that mess. God, let my faith be for me. Hey! Yes, sir. Who wants someone to dab on us? Get a can of oil and pour it on us and prophesy. Let your faith walk righteousness. Yes, sir. Come on, here, help me. Yeah. Help me, help me, help me, Holy Ghost. You want some special line? Find out line, to the line. You know, find out line. To the, let your faith just get you free. Let your faith deliver you. Let your faith take you higher. Let your faith exalt you. I don't care what you're doing. Let that thought drop out your mind. Just believe God can set you free by faith. your faith in operating. That's right. I don't care where you are. That's right. I don't care who you are. Yes. New York, Chicago, where your background is. You know, he wants someone to believe him. That's right. Do you believe him? Do you believe him? Uh -huh. Do you just believe that your faith can walk righteousness? Amen. Hallelujah. Do you believe God can give you a brand new car? Yes. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Do you believe God can give you a brand new job? Amen. That God can heal your body? Amen. That God can change this. Yes. Stop wishing and wonder and start believing. Oh, I wish the Lord. Stop believing. Amen. <laughs> stop believing the word. Just believe what God's word said. So what? What folks say about you. Yes. Just believe the word. Yes. Amen. If you do good to talk about you. Do better to talk about you. Forget folks. Just believe God. Amen. He says wrong righteousness. Yes. Obtain promises by faith. Yeah. Amen. Stop the mouth of lions by faith. Yeah. Some of y'all got giving you dreams and visions years ago. Ain't come to pass yet. Do you still hold fast to your vision? Amen. Do you still have hold fast to your dream that God showed you when you were really with him and tuned to him or whatever you was in your life? Do you still believe that today? Because we think at times that oh, what the Lord's will must not be so. You done lost faith, baby. I still believe it. I still see this church for you. Amen. I'm sorry, I just know what you showed me years ago. Amen. No matter where I am now, I still see it. I still see souls saved. 